Hello, in this video I want to talk about linear regression in R. So first I want to work with real data, so I try to get some real data. I go to the home page of the Chess Federation, which is fide.com. I go to the rating list, the top 100 players. I just copy and paste it. And I put the data in this file, chessplayer.tab. And as you can see, as you can see, it's a uh, tab separated the data. So I can just save the file. I open R and now I read the data into my variable, chess player, with read uh, table. And now I use it a file picker. I could also give the uh, path of the file there, but I want to show you how this works. True. And the separator is tab, as we just saw. So now this is the file picker. And I select the file. And now let's have a look if the data is correct. Yeah looks good, 100 entries, 100 rows and let's get a quick summary over this data of this data, summary chess player to get an idea what the data is about so for example the title 100 entries and they are all grandmaster the so names, each name is exactly one time in, in the list which makes sense. Um, the countries, uh, 25 players are from Russia, 10 from Ukraine, and so on. The rating, the average rating is uh, 2700. The games played in the time from the last list to, the, to this list is uh, an average, it's 10. And the birth year, so the average age of the top 100 player is 30. Okay, interesting to know, but now we want to plot the rating of the players in one graph rating. And this, this is a, uh, the last player in the list, this is the first player in the list, so it goes down a bit. And now I want to fit a uh, Align to this points to this points and the line that fits those points the best way. So I will um, fit. I will uh, add a line with this command a b line, and then l m, which means linear model. Oh, sorry, sorry. First, I need um, 100 points for my x axis, and in the y variable, I want to read the data, the, the rating data, which are 100 values as well. And now I want to add the line, the linear model, and y to x. So let's see. This is the line that fits those points the best way. And as you can see, those points are a bit unexpected there. It's they seem to be very good players. They're much better than the rest of the field. So just for fun, let's add a, a line by ourselves. A B line. And here it, it expects two param parameters, A and B. That's why it is uh, called AB line. A is the intercept of the y axis and B is the slope. So let's say 2780 and the slope is minus 1.1. So this is a line that fits also those points but not in the best way. Okay, this was this, this example. Now I want to show you some other stuff. 
first I create the variable x with 1 to 100 and the y variable which w with uh, normal distribu distributed values 100 with a mean value of 1 and a standard deviation of 0 0.5 let's see this data this is the data so they're all around 1 and with a deviation of a uh, standard deviation of 0 0.5 so let's plot these points this is the mean value so when we now f use uh, linear regression we expect the line to be uh, to be uh, here at uh, intercept 1 and a slope 0 so I uh, so let's do the linear regression a b line linear model y to x and it's uh, pretty much what we expected but not perfectly because the points are randomly and we are random and we only have 100 points and there is some uh, deviation so let's print the line the perfect line ourselves so intercept is 1 slope is 0 this is actually the, pr the perfect line so let's say we we create more points so the more points we have the better the result will be our norm 1000 mean 1 standard deviation 0 0.5 now we plot it so more points and now let's do the linear regression again and let's see how it it works with w with 1000 points uh, it's it's a bit more close to 1 still not perfect but uh, pretty good if you would do it with uh, 10000 points some at some point it will be uh, as a, uh, very close to the perfect line okay i hope you like this video thank you for watching